Hey everybody, my name is Julie and today I am going to put together a cheesy chicken chili that is keto friendly um, in anticipation of Super Bowl Sunday. So this will be a treat for us tomorrow. So this um, is, I'm going to start with two pounds of chicken. You can use chicken breast or chicken thighs, whichever you prefer. Chicken thighs are generally considered more keto friendly because they have more fat. So, and cut into strips so that you can ensure that the chicken gets done. So I've already prepped that and put it in the crock pot. <clears throat> Next we have 28 ounces of crushed tomato. Put that in. Squish it in here. Next we have one small onion or half of a large onion and five cloves of garlic, all chopped. I'm gonna put all that in. Next, we're going to use some less sodi lower sodium chicken broth. One and a fourth cup of this. I'm missing my cup measure, so I'm gonna have to use two half cups. Followed by a fourth of a cup. This recipe comes from the website Fit to Serve, so I'll put a link to this recipe in the comments. Okay, now we're going to add our by all a lot of spices. So we have two teaspoons of sea salt. We are up at the cabin, and so we are short our usual. We're a little bit lacking in our spice department, um, so I'm going to have to use this iodized salt. Ordinarily, I like to use a pink Himalayan salt. Two teaspoons of salt. Okay. And then a half teaspoon of pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle a dash in there. And then we have uh, one tablespoon of onion powder. notes one half of a tablespoon oh I'm sorry one and a half tablespoons of chili powder so here's one now if these if some of these spices don't agree with you or you don't particularly like them you can of course adjust them for how what you like but oh, I'm pretty much following the recipe and then we have one teaspoon of chipotle chili powder Chipotle powder, one teaspoon. This stuff, when you smell it, it is strong. It's gonna go a long way. And then we have one half tablespoon of garlic powder. And then some cumin. Let's see, one tablespoon of cumin. I'm gonna stir all that together. Gonna, I kind of went a little bit short on putting a whole tablespoon in there. Next, I'm going to give all of this a good stir. And this is going to cook in a crock pot six hours on low heat or three hours on high. Now, how do you make it cheesy? Chicken chili. Okay, the cheese is just gonna be Philadelphia cream cheese, but you don't put it in until the end. So at the very end of the cooking time, so when either the three hours or the six hours is over, depending on the temperature you're using in your crock pot, we're gonna do high today because it's already early afternoon and I want this to be ready tonight and then we'll have leftovers for Super Bowl. Okay, so at the very end of the cooking time, you add six ounces of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese or, or store brand. I just like Philadelphia. And you can see on the package it has the ounces ticked off. So you just count 
and cut up six ounces. So that would be like right here. So that's at the end. And then of course you can garnish it with whatever you like. Um, sour cream, cheddar cheese shredded, uh, jalapenos, either uh, pickled or raw. But we are just gonna use these green onions. I think they'll be really pretty on the top. The, the cream cheese is gonna lighten the color up and make it a really pretty orange color. And this, I think the green onions will look so pretty garnished on the top. So I hope you enjoyed the, the cooking demonstration and that you all have a great weekend and happy Super Bowl Sunday.